I'm going to talk about introduction into point data from AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010. First thing I like to do is create a new file using the standard template that comes with the program. If you already have one made up, that's good as well. And a lot of times, what this will do is it gives you different styles that you normally wouldn't have if you just opened up CAD and saved as. When you look at your tool space and we look at our commands up here, we'll see the points. Now, the endpoint Import survey data is more for surveyors. Um, that's more advanced. Um, but just for simple points, uh, you can do pretty much everything from from this drop down right here. So if we want to take a look at a actual survey file that we want to use, uh, that's very important. You need to know the format. <clears throat> In this particular case, we have a point number, a northing coordinate, and a, a Easting coordinate and an elevation and a description, and they're all comma delimited. So that would be P N E Z, and then we would have D for description. Um, it, sometimes you might have X Y Z data. You just need to know which one it is. Otherwise, it might come in backwards uh, when you import it. Okay, once you've determined that and you want to bring this data in, you just simply go to points and you can hit the first creation tools. And this is a bar that allows you to create points in different ways as you click on the buttons here. And that's creating points in your actual drawing with your design. But if you want to just import the points from an ASCII file, you go down to the right hand corner, hit import points. And now this is why it's important to know the format. If you're looking, you have a lot of different formats. Again, if it's the AutoCAD coordinates, it would be uh, Easting Northing Z, which is your X Y Z. But in standard engineering forms, usually the Northing Easting and your Z elevation. So we're going to go down here and look at it. We've already determined that it was the a point number, northing, easting, and Z for our elevation, and D for description, and it's common to eliminate. So we'll click on that, and then we'll go and we'll hit the plus and go to the directory where it's at. We'll click on that. Let's see. And you could add this to a point group if you wanted to. We could actually do that. <clears throat> you click Add Points to Point Group, and then you come over here to your Create New button. We could call this Survey Data. Click OK. And then we hit OK. And it should be in there. Now do a Zoom Extents, and you should find it and there's our point data. Now if you want to take a look at your point data it looks pretty big. You go down to your scales down here and you can change your scales and they should automatically adjust and you can see them a little better. Okay now that you got your points in there that's really all there is to reading an ASCII file and again the surveying um, part can be a little bit more complicated. They can actually uh, do the field to finish. You can look that up online, field to finish or on YouTube, and there's some good videos on that. That's advanced techniques to actually draw the uh, line work and topography up as you insert the points. And if you do points this way, you would have to manually draw your lines like edge of pavement, and put in your text power poles and uh, brake lines where you have tops and toes and to do your surface because that's what eventually you're looking to do. Also, if you go over here and click on the tool space, you'll notice that your point groups are there. <clears throat> and you can toggle down here and look and see that the actual points are, are down here. If you go to hit survey data, you can see all your uh, northing, easting, and points down here. You can also edit these down here 
as well if you click on them and want to change something. So there's how you get survey data points. Now if you just want to come in here and uh, set some points, again you can come in here and it, it gives you all these different options. If you just plan on want to put a point somewhere or on something, you can do like a manual and you, then you can click and then it asks you for description you could call it uh, PNT for point and then it'll ask you an elevation 1000 and then it click creates a point there now this point right here is on a different style it's not set up in the same style that this is or doesn't have a label on if you see a point that comes out like that just click on one point right button go to your point group properties and you'll notice it has these styles and these are the styles I was talking about it brings in all the different types of points that you could do benchmarks catch basins and but it doesn't have a label style if you don't see that so you can come in here and put point elevation description and then you can hit OK and there you go if you don't if you don't actually see that labeled so that's a quick way for that now if, if you want to create points again there's different ways to do it and this is an introduction in to try to get you started on on using that the other thing I noticed that uh, a lot of people are still using the LDD land desktop development the old points I'm going to insert a file that has the old LDD points you can either open up the file or insert and these are points that are actually in the file if I can find them Let me get rid of these for a minute okay these are actually LDD points they are not a part of the uh, survey database group yet so what I want to do is convert these you go up to your uh, points and you notice that uh, you can convert land desktop points you click on that and it, if they're there and they are real LDD points then you should get this and you can come up and take a look at if you want to change anything here and you can also add these we can call these LDD to a point group and then we can click OK and this will convert all of these to uh, points that are now a part of the civil 3D points now, if you ever want to go in and change any of these points again just click on one right button go to the point group properties and you can change anything in here. You might want to change um, the uh, the way the the style, the point style looks. You click over here to your little pencil box, and you can come in here and change your markers. And you can do that. You can also go in here and change the color. and you can go to your styles as well and change different components on that and there's the color of that again you can continue to set this up the way you want to now the other thing that you might want to do occasionally is to say you you want to make a surface out of this group here this is where the surveyor picked up and you don't really want to include these points these are more for like utility locations and and extra information so if you want to isolate these you can actually go into here and you can go to point groups and do a new point group we can call this uh, topo and while you're in here you go to include and you click on the first button selection and drawing and you try to select you know, all these points that are in here and 
and hit enter and then it shows you all the points that you have uh, selection and drawing and hit OK and now those are in a different point group topo and you, you can actually go to the properties of that and if if you wish you can go over there and change some different things as well but the most important thing about this if you were going to create a surface let's say we do one real quick here this is helpful in the fact that you don't have to use the other points and you go down to your surfaces and add a by point group and then you can click on the topo and hit OK and then it should just topo in the area that you pick so that's a way that you an introduction into using points in Civil 3D